What about ducks? It's goddamn ducks. What is it about those ducks that meant so much to you? I don't know, it was just a trip having those wild creatures come into my pool and have their little babies. I was sad to see him go. Oh, Jesus, fuck, now he's gonna cry. When the ducks gave birth to those babies, they became a family. You're right. That's the link. A connection. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my family. I lost the ducks. Tony Soprano is one of the most frustrating characters in TV history. He's a character who, unlike many others, never changes. He's never good turned evil, never evil turned good. He's just Tony, a character who sees the error of his ways and yet still isn't able to learn from his mistakes. And by the end of the show, Don't stop. he was going to be killed. Now, in my opinion, Tony isn't a frustrating character because he isn't able to learn from his sins and constantly destroys the lives of those around him, but rather he's frustrating because in my eyes he's relatable. Let me ask you all a question. If you constantly surround yourself by sin and sinners, is it possible for you to ever become something different? In my experience, unlikely. As Tony says, You're born to this shit. You are what you are. Think about it like this. A child in school is heavily influenced by the other children he hangs around with. If they behave poorly, he'll behave poorly. Take for example AJ. Whenever his friends are doing something bad, like smashing up a gym or robbing from school, AJ's always doing it too. The adults did it. The children around him did it. Why wouldn't AJ? My son has panic attacks. Now obviously we can't send him to military school. Pediatrician said. He's got that putrid, rotten, fucking soprano gene. It's a slight tick in his fight flight response. Now I'm not in any ways comparing Tony to a child. However, in order for us to understand why he is the way he is, we need to go back to when Tony himself was AJ's age. Take a look at who and what influenced Tony to become the man he is today, and why it's so hard for him to change. Anthony, what I fucking tell you? Tony grew up in a fairly similar setting to his own son AJ. His father and uncle Junior were notorious criminals. However, they both did a fairly good job at keeping their involvement in the mafia at an arm's length from Tony. However, like AJ and Meadow. You see things on the TV, hear arguments in the room next door. Sooner or later, you find out who your father really is. And when you're surrounded by children also living in similar situations, as a group you either strive to be like the fathers you look up to, or you more than likely use their immoral actions as an excuse to justify your own. Well, Dad did it when he was my age, so why can't I? We're all in favour of me going. Your mother doesn't want it. Wow. Listen to Mr. Mob Boss. What did you call me? All this fucking pussy footing around? Years now? Why don't we just get it all out there? Tony. Shut up. Tony! You got something you want to say to me? I'm not saying that Tony turning into a man similar to his father isn't the fault of his own, as we all have some form of agency regardless of the situation we're in. However, what I'm trying to say is that it's understandable why Tony is the man he is. If you can understand or even relate to some of Meadow and AJ's decisions, then you should be able to do the same with a young Tony. 
Now that we're better able to understand why Tony is the man he is, I want to take a look at why it's so difficult for him to change. Why is it so hard for Tony to put an end to his sins? Why is his inability to change relatable? And I'm not talking about stuff like murder, or any other crime he commits as a part of the Mafia. Because as evil as it is, the majority of the time these crimes can't be helped. Somebody rats on you and your crew, for obvious reasons, you gotta kill them. Me and my crew are behind on our bills, let's go rob a jeweler's before I get overthrown as boss. Yes, the majority of these crimes are heinous, but Tony can't just simply put an end to it all and walk away in the hopes of becoming a better man. As explained in American History X. This is not some fucking country club where you can waltz in and out of here and just shut, shut the fuck up! Also, my goal in this video isn't to analyse the sins that can't be helped, but rather the sins that can be, such as the repetitive cheating on his wife, poor handling of his children, all actions that he isn't forced to commit because of his involvement in the Mafia. As explained in the beginning of the video, if you constantly surround yourself with sinners, then it's unlikely that you're going to be anything different. Silvio, Paulie, Christopher, all characters who cheat on their better half and think nothing of it. Does the Mafia force them to commit this sin? No. Characters like Johnny Sack and Bobby don't. So why does Tony? I'd argue that Tony does it mostly because of it being socially acceptable in his circle. His friends do it. They'd defend him if he were ever caught doing it. So why not? The temptation's always there. And if there's rarely any consequence, what's stopping you? On everything I hold sacred, on my children, there's nothing going on between me and Adriana. Now, of course, one could argue several other reasons, such as power, status, Tony's obsession with constant distractions, and of course the unresolved issues with his mother. However, I truly believe that if he wasn't always surrounded by people who commit the same sin without a care in the world, such as Bobby, seeing as though he's always around Junior, that Tony might think twice about what he's doing. But if you grew up doing it, and 30 years later everybody's still doing it, without ever leaving that circle, what and who's going to motivate you to change? And in my eyes, this goes for a lot of things. Take for example, dare I say something as simple as quitting drinking. If you're surrounded by people who want to drink all the time, the odds of you quitting are lower than that of somebody who's surrounded by people who don't want to drink at all. You aren't who you are. You're more than likely who you're surrounded by, and have been for your entire life. You know, I love you, right, man? Dad. No, don't dad me. Come on. I want to know. Do you know that I love you? Yes. I know that you love me. Tony's mishandling of his children is a complicated topic. Because Tony himself, of course, didn't have much of a blueprint for good parenting. His mother was a raging narcissist. And his father didn't seem to try all that hard at steering Tony down a different path. So naturally, Tony takes a very different approach. He makes sure AJ stays clear of a life in the Mafia, however unintentionally pushes Meadow toward one. The whole Jackie Jr. situation if you're wondering. Tony of course tried to help Jackie by pleading that he too stay clear of such a life. However, failed to realise that somebody in Jackie's position, given the same temptations Tony is on a daily, is bound to give in to them every now and then. And if Jackie and Meadow were to have worked out, she more than likely would have ended up in a similar situation to her mother. Carmella. Who the hell are you? Fuck you, bitch. What'd you say? Don't ever call me again. Metal, wait. Yeah. Many people online like to argue that Melfi's conclusion of Tony was that he was a psychopath, and therefore didn't care for anybody other than himself, which to an extent is true. Tony lost many close friends and family without it ever seeming to bother him. He had taken lives without batting an eye. The list goes on. However, I don't agree with Tony being a psychopath, as on several occasions he has shown to care for his children. Take for example the time he finds AJ attempting to kill himself. At first, he's angry with his son, but soon decides to comfort him. I rather see Tony as an individual under constant stress, and more often than not unintentionally puts his own needs before his children's, 
unaware. He believes that his issues are far more important than theirs, so the solution should benefit him, rather than anybody else. Take for example the time where Tony sent AJ off to military school. Did it benefit AJ? No. Did it benefit Tony? Yes. As for a time, he no longer would have had to worry about his son on top of everything else. And where does this stress all lead back to? Where does it come from? What's causing Tony to act like this all the time? It comes from his lifestyle. It comes from the crazy women he's having an affair with. It comes from the people he surrounds himself with, making what he believes to be mistakes. You get stabbed in the ribs. That's painful. This shit. I don't feel nothing. Nothing. Dead. Empty. If you aren't able to change your surroundings, then you're going to find it difficult to change your character, whether that be for better or worse. You can watch a man change, you can watch a man refuse to change, and you can watch a man fail to change. Anyway, I just want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I do apologise for not uploading in like literally half a year. Um, I have been out of the country, but I'm back now. I've got my computer, I've got all my um, editing software, my microphone and whatnot. So I'm hoping to be getting one video every five days at the minimum. Like high quality, high quality stuff. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.